is not only is God a God of justice, he's also a God of order. And you see this in the, the beginning pages of the Bible. When God is creating everything, he's doing so in a very orderly fashion. Genesis 1 is a very ordered description of how God is trying to bring peace and shalom to the world. But as soon as sin enters the world, God's peace and shalom, his order is destroyed. And there's this downward spiral of death, chaos, and destruction. Because the very next story after sin is Cain and Abel. Adam and Eve's two kids... One, Cain, kills Abel, and then he eventually has a grandson named Lamech. And Lamech's mantra is, if Cain is avenged seven times, Lamech is avenged 77 times. Meaning, essentially, if he's going to get revenge on those he desires seven times over, I'm going to do it 77 times over. Like, capturing that there's this move in humanity to be their own judge and juror. Meaning, I'm going to do what I think is right in my own eyes. I'm going to administer justice the way I think it's fair, and nobody can tell me otherwise. So you have this downward spiral of death and destruction from the end of Genesis 3 to the beginning of Genesis 6. And as you cross into Genesis 6, it says that every inclination of the human heart was only evil all the time. Without governing authorities... It's just chaos and anarchy, and people are going to do what they think is right in their eyes. The book of Judges in the Old Testament captures this perfectly. It's probably one of the darkest, most depressing, bleakest books in the Old Testament. In the very last line of the book of Judges, in chapter 25, verse 21, is that in those days, Israel had no king. There was no ruling authority. There was no governing authority in the nation of Israel at that time. And everyone did as they saw fit. Some translations will say everyone did what they thought was right in their own eyes. Everyone takes on this sense of like, I'm going to administer justice the way I want. I'm going to do what I think is best to solve our community's problems. I'm taking it upon myself. And so Paul is saying that authority is there to maximize good, minimize evil, and ensure that there is order over chaos. That's why he says in verse 5, therefore you must submit. You must submit to governing authorities, not only because of wrath, right? Not just because you're trying to keep your nose clean, but also because of your conscience. Meaning you should have some conviction about it. 